play. Point game, really. Outside of a Marriott, and people were like, Oh, is this our hotel? And we were in Oakland, which was confusing. So, we're gonna change. This is Golden State's practice. The coach was like, Yeah, we're gonna wait for them to get done with practice, and we're gonna, we're gonna go up and practice in there. And it was like, Man, that's like, that's awesome. Like, I didn't know, I didn't really know what to expect. We were walking up, and we got a quick glimpse of like the court, and Careless was like, Oh, I think I just saw Steph Curry. So yeah, we didn't know, but then we walked in and he was sitting right there next to the coach. It was pretty crazy. Uh, well, obviously, welcome to the facility. This is where we put our work in every single day. Um, obviously, a lot of crazy memories and history of the Warriors organization. Pretty cool you guys get to be here, put some shots up. Obviously, shake the cobwebs off and playing and get ready for this, uh, this tournament coming up. But... Practicing there was in their facility was like it was incredible, you know, because you see videos of them like on Twitter or like on ESPN just practicing in those facilities, and I've never set foot in one like that, and it was it was awesome. Yeah, me and Coach Bedini go way back. I talked to him pretty much. On the regular, trying to figure out if Davidson was the right spot for me, and he helped me every single, single step of the way in terms of instilling confidence and kind of bringing what we, what we, you know, were about at Davidson to life every single day. And you know, I'm so excited when he uh, got the head coaching job at Eli, because I knew he'd uh, just be a tremendous coach in terms of um, you know, getting a group of guys and uh, getting the best out of them. And that's we have a, a strong, tight knit family in terms of anytime I can get. Uh, some time with him and bring him out to the West Coast and bring him to the facility to practice and all that type of stuff. It's always, always love. It's really neat to have been able to stay in touch with Steph uh, through the years and be able to, to bounce a few basketball ideas off each other uh, was good for me and, and neat to, to experience right before we practice. So. I hope you guys understand how special the group it is to be, you know, to go, go to war with every night in terms of what you all, the value that you all bring uh, to, to the equation, knowing your roles, doing the best that you can to bring uh, that effort every single night, and just having fun, man. It's like, I, seeing you guys brings back so many memories of you know, playing at Davidson. These are the relationships and the memories you have for a lifetime. Meeting Steph was awesome. I mean, it's somebody that everybody on our team looks up to. Having someone like Steph kind of involved with like the Shar Center and just just being connected to Elon basketball and just like it's, even though, even though it's a kind of small way, it's incredible. When you're cooped up in a hotel over Thanksgiving, I mean, you just find stuff to do with the guys. And I mean, everybody's kind of not really bored, but just looking for something to do. And so just being with everybody, like whether it's just in the same hotel room watching a game or something, um, you can definitely feel like the family environment. It's kind of like a, a brotherhood. We're all real close with each other. and you know, We all hang out all the time like we're brothers, you know, just hanging out, chilling, playing basketball, whatever it is. like. We're always, I feel like we're always together and having a good time. When I was growing up, I had, I have two younger brothers and one older brother. We all played basketball and we played basketball during the school year, during the summer and like all, all the time, all year round. And there'd be days when we had like, like I'll, I would have up to like three games in a day on a tournament day. There's four of us. So we're pushing 10, 12 basketball games in like from eight in the morning to eight at night. You know, everyone's running around all through Dallas and just game here, game there. And for them to like really 
like take the time to do that and take me to all the games and the practices. It's it's meant a lot. You know, we watched yeah. him for all the years through high school. I mean, he worked every waking second. Yeah. Basketball was his was his thing. He was <laughs> if he was awake, he was either practicing <laughs> or eating. <laughs> They've been supporting me since I started playing, uh, me and my brother. My dad was always traveling for work, but he'd find a way to make it to most of my high school games. We spent all of our vacations doing AAU tournaments all over the, uh, the country, and so we're sort of used to traveling around and uh, sitting in strange gyms and watching our ch children play basketball. son has played with three different programs and I don't think I've seen the type of family connection and team con connection that not only the players seem to have with, with each other but also the fans uh, have uh, as well. It's really awesome to see the, the camaraderie and the family development of the teammates yeah. even when they've had a bad moment or made a mistake or something, you know, don't let it get to you. I've heard that from all of them talking to each other, just, you know, it's all right, shake it off, let's move on. And seeing the bench jump up and mm -hmm. cheer on the, the team as yeah. they're on the floor, and it's really neat to watch. Simon and the experience that he's had in Elon um, as parents, I think the first emotion that always comes to mind is pride. I'm proud of what uh, he's been able to accomplish thus far and the experience that he is um, he's getting to being a part of the Elon family. <laughs>